Hi everyone, it's Nat from Studio Hacks, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to force quit on a Mac. We need to do this when a program is frozen or unresponsive. I'm going to show you two ways you can do it. The first one is with the mouse only, and the second is with the keyboard plus the mouse. If you want to see how to do that, stick around and I'll show you right now. Okay, so if a program on your Mac has become unresponsive or frozen, we need to get to the menu bar. But the problem is when we are in a frozen program, the menus often become unresponsive. You're clicking up on the menus or you're clicking on the red dot or uh, to quit the program or to exit the screen and nothing's happening. So what we have to do is first switch to another program that is working. To do that, we can hit the command plus tab. So we hold down the command button and then hit tab. And we can then keep hitting tab while our finger is on the command button to scroll through and select a program that is working. Then I can go up and now you can see, so this, this program I'm pretending is frozen. It isn't really, this is called Logic Pro. But when I switch over to Chrome, what we can do is click on the Apple icon right here and then we can go down and select force quit. This will bring up a small menu that looks like this. If you have a program that is frozen, I've taken a screenshot when one of my programs had actually frozen. So this is a program called ScreenFlow, which I'm using to record right now. It will show the name of the program in red and next to it, it will say not responding. So all we have to do is select the name of the program and then hit force quit. That will bring up another dialog box saying, do you want to force quit? And then from there you say, yes, force quit. You have to be aware that when you do force quit a program, you might lose uh, some of the work you've been doing from the last save. However, the Mac has a recovery option often with a lot of programs. When you open the program up again after force quitting it, it will um, give you the option to recover lost work. So the other way that you can force quit a program with the keyboard only if your mouse has become unresponsive uh, or this is a much simpler and quicker way, you hold down command and option and hit escape. And that's the quick way of getting to that exact same menu. You then select the program that is not responding, hit force quit, and then again confirm that yes, I do want to force quit. That will then close down that program and then you can reopen it and hopefully from there you won't have any more problems. You'll see now that I'm opening up Logic again, it says Logic Pro has an auto save version of the project. So then we can, this is what I'm saying, we want to recover the work since the last save. So I'm going to select the auto saved version and then it's going to open that up again. Now another way that I like to do it, a quick and easy way with the mouse only is if I'm in a program and it becomes unresponsive, I like to have the hot corners activated. So the hot corners do things like take you to the menus, clear the screen. On the top right hand corner, it shows you all the other programs. So I select the hot corner, which is the top right that gives me all the program windows open, switch to another one, go to the icon here, force quit, and then close the program. So it's that simple. I hope you found this content valuable. If you did, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Thank you and we'll see you next time.